Battle Cruiser, operational. Okay. That's the theme awesome. of today. Sorry? That's gonna be the theme of today. Alright, let's go. It's all gonna be about. Alright, um, tell me, go and do your, your intros. Tell the good people oh. who you are. I'm live too, by the way. Welcome everybody to Teach the Noob. My name is Stefan, Stefan Steve 87 Some people confuse me with Saitama just because I have no hair. But you can call me Steve. My friends call me Steve. Today we are with Red Gunner Guy. He is my teacher for StarCraft 2. And he is absolutely excellent at this game. Uh, I make him really frustrated because, again, this is called Teach the Noob. Welcome, everybody. All right. So, as mentioned by my good friend, here we are going to be playing some StarCraft 2. I'm going to be teaching him. This is his seventh lesson in StarCraft 2 official lesson. He's only been playing for about... 10 hours. So, <laughs> wow, really? Only 7? Yeah, yeah. So 7, seven plus full lessons, 1 to 2 hours each. So give or take about 10 to 14 hours. Okay. Yep. And he's absolutely right. Um, it's been a lot of fun, but it's, there have been times, I will not lie, it has been ungodly frustrating. Especially the <laughs> co-op section. So if you're watching this eventually on YouTube, <coughs> do like and subscribe. If not for me, that's for the Zek League. Nam 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 yeah. Medium toughness. Yeah, if you could beat the medium AI, great. Um, let's see. Let, let's see if that's actually gonna happen. Okay. Uh, yeah, medium. I'm gonna set it to random. Okay. So to just give you a brief breakdown of what we tend to do beyond this, after this we're gonna play some co-op because you finally unlocked uh, the battle cruiser for Mr. James Vader over here. Yes, so, that'll be fun. Oh, that's gonna be a ton of fun. I'll teach you. A build within co-op then we're gonna swap back to 1v1 I'm gonna teach you a proper battle cruiser build in 1 versus 1 as you know co-op and 1 versus 1 is very different and then finally we're gonna end it off with another game against either medium or hard and see if you can beat him again cool okay all right so I'm gonna start the game and then mute my mic so that you can focus I would suggest you take the next 5 seconds to remember what you need to do once the game starts. This is going to be Light Chain, the same map we play all the time. Or do you want okay. a different map? No, it's fine. Alright, so start. You ready? Yep, yeah, I could do a good practice. Alright. Um, for, for those watching, you could either stay on Stefan's channel or come to mine because I'm going to be muting my mic, giving commentary on my own. Oh yeah, let me do a shout out for you right now. Just shout out. And let me do a shout out for you as well on my side. By the way, the game started. Okay, here we go. Alrighty then, so. Wait, it's... why is it not working? Uh, something wrong? Yeah. Uh, ah, finally. Do you want to restart? No, it's okay. Okay. I'll survive. I think. Now, normally if this happens in the actual 1v1 game, it's not uncommon for you to completely restart because this kind of lost type stuff is kind of painful, but in this case it doesn't really matter. Alright, so it's good. He's got his supply depot right off the bat. Unfortunately for him, he's going up against Zerg. Which he's probably not going to scout. Zerg's actually going to go for a pool. This actually could be a Zerg cheese, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <coughs> so what I've taught him so far in terms of StarCraft 2 is... I've taught him the Terran back build where you get tanks and doors. He likes doors. Big buff units. Susceptible to Zerglings. But, I'll do a bit of a sinus, but anyway, it's susceptible to Zerglings. I've also taught him the basics of Terran Bio, which is you get lots of infantry and you just attack. 
I actually felt that mech was easier for Stefan because, well, the thing about bio is that you have to learn how to micro, you have to learn how to do drops, you have to learn how to do these kind of raids. And that's fundamentally harder than getting a bunch of Thors. Now that, but in the last lesson I went to Terran Air, Vikings, Liberators, you, you, you really knew the medevac because you need that for bio. Ravens, I don't expect him to touch Ravens for a long long time, but... Uh, I don't expect you to touch ravens for a long, long, long time. I barely touch ravens and I play Terran. Actually, I play all races at this point. Uh, the, the real issue he's gonna have is... But the, the rest of the lesson today is gonna be about, about the BC. Because there are legitimate BC mech okay, as well as um... BC bio builds. Yeah, so he needs to decide. Is he going bio or mech? We're not going to talk about the advanced stuff like um, Rex, Hellions, or or two one one or three one one or proxy. Re no, 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 no. Is it is it just going to be biomech? Because he's attempted to play biomech before, which is a combination of the two, and that's never really worked. It's never really worked at the highest levels. It's never really worked at the lowest levels. I'm sure there's somewhere in between that you hit a person that's five hundred mmr below you, and then you can go biomech. But, uh, oh by the way, the kind of mech that he plays is a little bit more of the battle, no, of the turtle mech. This is contrasted with the battle mech style, which is a lot harder to play. Even I struggle with battle mech. Uh, one thing that's good off the, up front is that he's actually got a fair number of marines, but the enemy, oh I know what he's doing, the enemy's cheesing. He's gonna cheese, he's actually building up a force of Ligbane, and he's just gonna attack without a bunker, without scouting. He's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Okay, so he's going for a bio heavy kill. <coughs> Four. You know, I gotta Shift ask. Five. Oh yeah, I should, I should check. Uh, by the way, for those watching, there's okay. he's actually streaming on his own site. Oh dear, I did not set this. Give me a moment. Here we go. He's also streaming on his um, yes. point of view, which is great. He's actually set up his command center and his Rex hotkeys. That's not too bad. Uh, again, since he's playing against the AI, he only sees what he sees in game. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to the all vision. He has not done anything like scouting. I think I should fix this in the next, in the next game, which is that I insist that look, oh shit, send an SCV and park it outside the enemy base. If not, you're gonna get freaking overrun. <coughs> But he's actually putting his marines on the web, which is not bad, but not ideal either. Okay, he's going for a bio-heavy build. Uh, he's still getting marines, which is fine. He's not getting the upgrades. He's not floating that much money. And he's actually getting a second base. So he's actually going to be ahead of the Zerg. But the Zerg is going to attack right now. And with this, with these forces, without tanks, without bunkers, he's dead. He can't take on this many Ling, uh, Ling Bane. Maybe if he pulls... Okay, again. If this was in the hands of a, a pro player, Bian TY Innovation... As, like, if you just give it to him right now. You just give it to Bian Innovation, those guys, right here, right now. Um, maybe I should do that, uh, recover from replay and show him the, the differences of what is... What is possible. Anyway, he's gonna die. This is not enough, and once the bailings connect... Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. There we go. Let's, let's, let's see his face over on his stream. Oh, look at that focus. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> look at that Twitch. <laughs> look at his Twitch chat. Why are you sucky, sucky Steph? <laughs> I should get a bunker. I can't attack time. move properly. Oh man, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. Again, if you guys are watching on YouTube, go and follow his Twitch. It's right up here. Oh, he's just dying to links. But he's not dead. Oh gosh, heavy losses, man. It's gonna be heavier because it's gonna be one link, and if he doesn't notice it. Oh no, the link actually is rotated to go after the marines, it got shot. <coughs> uh. Actually, you talk about heavy losses, but if you look at the number of SCVs lost, 
It's only five. The the trade is is definitely in favor of the Zerg, but that's only and only because a lot of Marines died, and at least he spent his money. I remember there was a game um, he played exactly like this. The enemies went went muters after that, which is going to be a separate problem. But he's doing a lot better now. At least at least he's got a lot more. There's the um, the imposter <laughs> kind of sus. Uh, I gotta build some. Actually, if he blows up a high enough marine count, he's actually going to be theoretically safe against the Mutas. Emphasis on the term theoretically. His second base is done. His SCV production is not as bad as it could have been. You know, despite me okay. making fun of him, he's actually uh, in a in an okay position, I feel. True. <laughs> Factory, okay, not too bad. <coughs> okay, here comes the next attack. Uh, the not as many Bane, so given his marine production, which is fairly high, he might actually be able to survive. Okay, they're not, okay, never mind. The enemy's not moving out. Okay, uh. I wonder. Is it just me or does the texture of this marine look a bit different? The... I've never actually noticed that about the chase again. I've played consistently since 2016. It looks so different. Like it look, it, it's like in a darker blue color. Another factory. I don't think he's gonna notice the the change link though. Is he? Down here. Oh he. Oh he. Okay, I just saw his stream. Just... Did he shoot him? Oh man, I missed that. I'll be really impressed if he shot the the boss. Like here's the thing, Stefan. Uh, Stefan87 actually played a good amount of Among Us at some point in time. He's supposed to play with me, he convinced me to get the game and never invited me. So I had to play with my other friends. True story. Hence all the Among Us uh, jokes. I wonder if the airship map is out. I doubt it. Reddit will lose its mind once the airship map came out. At some point, we, me and him, we were also supposed to do other cool stuff like uh, watch The Thing, which is the original movie Among Us was about. But enough about that. What is the enemy doing? The enemy has finally expanded. If we look at the income... Okay, I should have made this game with game hard. I will do that next time. Nope, can't get the fancy okay, dog. But uh, if we look at the let's income... Let's go ahead and build some The Zerg's mining a lot <coughs> more. Okay, here comes the second Point attack. Here. His forces are split up, which is actually going to be the actual problem because he's going to lose his first force and then lose the second. Whether the Zerg can break through two of his forces, I don't know. The mainlings are... They don't actually connect that well. He's going to lose his second base though. Oh shit. He's going to lose the second base, he can't oh. save it at this point. If he lifts it up, the Mutas will still get it. Um... Oh, but he doesn't aim move the Marines! Ah well, at least he got further this time. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Attack faster would yeah, help. I'm dead, I think. I really wanna wanna tell him about the scouting. Is there any? Is, should I salvage it anyway? I don't think you can because even if you kill all the links, you can't kill the the air flyers because you lost all your your marines. Oh. What you uh, actually after the first attack it was still okay because I checked you only lost five SCVs. That's yeah. all. You only lost 5 SCVs. That's a very recoverable position. Uh, but the, here's the real thing. If you had tanks earlier, the tanks would have yeah. been able to take care of the Zerglings on the ground. Ah. And the Marines would then have been able to take care of the Flyers. Oh. Yeah. After 2 racks, you always want to go... You almost always want to go factory. Like, you could have had 2 tanks right now if you had to build that faster. Alright, but My no... Factory? Yeah, to get tags. I see. Oh well, no matter. That was a good attempt. 
Uh, oh, oh, well, what, one thing before we leave. Tr try this in the next 1v1 game, I'll mention it during your future practices. But try to set a scout unit out. Do you remember uh, we, we talked a about... A marine? Pref preferably a marine. Um, at least have something camped outside their base so you know when they're moving out. Ah, uh, okay. Because these guys caught you completely off guard, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, no matter, no matter. That should be the the fuel, like that burning by axe, to, to get into it. Alright, yep. we can leave that game. That was your warm up. And now to some co op. Just go. Alright, I'm gonna set it to hard, as always. Uh, I'm gonna be taking my. My da. Well, I'm gonna be taking this 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 guy. Name's Tahaka, the good commander. Um, all right. So let me talk. Let me just quickly run through you what you need to do if you want to play Raider BC. Um, there are two builds, if you will. There are two builds, if you will. Uh, one of them is that you go for Marines into BCs. One of them is you go straight to BCs. I'm gonna suggest straight to BCs. Um, the thing about going straight to BCs is that you need battle cruisers. To, yep, battle cruisers, the big ships that you can now build because you're level six, I believe. Uh. So the key about the battle cruisers is that you you need to do two things. One is you need to get gas as soon as you can. Okay. Because the battle cruiser, unlike the marine style, requires a lot of gas. And you need the gas early, so you take the gases as soon as you can afford them. The okay. other thing you need to do is you need to tech up immediately. You need to get your barracks, you need to get your factory, you need to get your starport, you need to get your fusion core as quickly as you can. What's a fusion core? <coughs> um, the fusion core is the building you need to get to allow the starport to build the battle cruiser. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. You, once you get your your once you get your battle cruiser production, the thing about this build specifically is you need to take your second base because you need the gas. You one base, uh, one base alone, you're gonna struggle with getting enough gas to make consistent battle cruisers. Mm. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? No. Nope. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright, um, this being co-op, I'll also brief you about the mission. We'll see whether we get the same one or a different one. It's a different mission, okay. Um, I don't mind doing this a couple of times. What we have to do here is, and this I'm going to need your help. Um, what we're going to do here is that we need to capture and hold certain positions on the map. Five in total. They're going to be marked out on the map, don't worry. Um, whoever controls it the longest wins. Us and the AI. Okay. <coughs> All right, so that might just build up. Minerals. Minerals now. Get em. Not enough I minerals. should be able to hold the line. Minerals now. Our plans to enter the void are in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Amon intends to destroy Ulnar by overloading its celestial locks. Yep. Activating all five locks is your objective. Units from both of your armies must stand together near a lock to activate it. Okay, that's fine. Don't forget the gas because once once your barracks finishes, you're gonna need a hundred gas for the factory. Oh, okay. That's actually the reason why the why you wanna focus on that super early gas. It is primarily because you wanna be able to tech up. And even when you tech up you need to have a, a little bit of a gas stockpile to uh, so that you can build a battle cruiser immediately. Okay. There is it there. now 
<laughs> Actually, forget Marines. Get your get your factory. Oh, okay. You don't for for this. You don't. You generally don't need Marines. Focus on getting the factory ASAP. Your battle crews are gonna be worth infinitely more than a bunch of Marines. Sorry, my battle cruiser is gonna be what? Once you eventually get your battle cruiser, it's gonna be a lot more valuable than whatever marines you you could have made. Ah, okay. And uh, don't forget, the upgrades you get are completely different. The tech choice is completely different. The playstyle is completely different. Okay. <coughs> marines are expendable. Battle cruisers are not. Once you get your battle cruisers and your next base, and you want to build marines, then you can. Once you have, you know, a lot of minerals, because it's gonna be gas that's a limiting factor. Not enough minerals. All things change. So much essence. Do I build armory? Uh, no need. Okay. You will later, but for now, just get the battle cruiser. If you have spare money left over, build your next base. Okay. You can either build it beside your base and float it over, or I've actually cleared the rocks for you. Thanks. Alright, uh, alright. So here's the thing for this mission specifically, do you see in the center of the map here? There's this big lock. Center of the map. Yeah. Yep. Send one marine over. All, okay. all your actually no, just send all the marines. Just a thing. Uh, to capture the lock, both you and me must be there. So <coughs> we cannot claim the objective without our allies' presence. Yep. So much essence. Okay, so once your guys reach the lock, it's gonna fill up the bar. I built you... tanks, right? Should I build tanks? Yeah, no, no, no. Just get battle cruisers. Okay. Fusion core. Fusion core. Fusion core. VF. I listen. Haman's forces are moving upon a celestial lock. If they gain control of it, the lock will begin to overload. VF is factory. We have laid claim to one of the celestial huh. locks. We must VC? Until the others are ours ah, yeah, well. okay. Yeah, the fusion core. The celestial lock is under Amon's control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. objective is to reclaim it before it overloads. Alright, I'm gonna go attack the enemy. Um, yes. Get the fusion core, get your next base. Okay. I call upon Glevik, new leader. The Zelnaga construct has been corrupted by Amon's void energies. It would be an act of mercy to destroy it. So much essence. Our allies' presence is required to claim the objective. Follow. Okay, that make the battle cruisers. Battle cruisers. Yes. Watchful. We hope this out. Okay, uh send a worker or a marine over here. Because I already cleared it out. So once one of your guys reaches there, it'll will will consider capture the lock. Yeah. The bell cruiser from the starport. Uh, is strong. Okay, great. Then you can just send the battle cruiser to to my forces here, and then we can attack. Oh, Where are your forces? Over here. 
Ah, okay. All things change. Not enough minerals. We have secured another lock. Excellent. Continue and we will succeed in thwarting Amon's plan. Okay, let me see. If you've got enough money, you can add on more the star pots. Wait, the battle cruisers look much smaller. Yes, because the one you're normally used to is the super battle cruiser, but that's on a cooldown. Uh, These stay with you as long as you don't you don't die. Alright, ready? Yeah. Charge! Attack! No, down here, down here! Attack move! Yeah, blow him up! Okay, we got this position. Awesome. Uh, set the battle cruiser to... Without our allies presence. Yep, but then we'll capture it. Uh, continue making BCs. The lock. They will soon gain control of it. How many battle cruisers you got? Two. Okay, after this we're gonna rotate to the center because the enemies try to recapture it. Okay. Uh, big more star ports. Saturate your second base. Build as many battle cruisers as you can afford. Alright, rotate center, rotate center. Where is the enemy there? They are. Do you need call call down battle cruisers? No, not yet. Uh, tell you what. Can you call down the battle cruiser over here because the enemy attack wave is right there? They're gonna okay. try and capture it. So, call down the battle cruiser there and destroy them. Now? Yeah, now. I'm not gonna Rotation cap the point. Complete. Okay. Oh, they're not here yet. No, they're there. You can't see them. Oh. We must take it back. I I couldn't I couldn't call it down. Why? You need vision? Don't remember. Oh. Don't remember you needing vision. Never mind, gather the battle cruisers, we're gonna have to reclaim it manually. Victory. Okay. Uh don't forget from your fusion core you can get an upgrade called your Mato Cannon. I would strongly suggest you buy that because it's a ton of fun. Fusion core? There's an upgrade at the fusion core called your Mato. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, we Only got research weapon refit. We must join our allies Isn't it that one? Uh, is yeah, it just, called... just, just buy it, just buy it. Oh, okay. It's called refit or something. Yeah, it's called weapons refit. Uh, but everyone just calls it the Yamato upgrade. Because uh. it unlocks the Yamato cannon from the BCs. Amon's forces are moving to seize the celestial lock. We have managed all right, now we need to rotate the center. I, I tell you what, grab all your BCs and just teleport to the center now. Uh, teleport. It's T, right? Change. Yeah. Okay, just teleport them into the center. Stop them from capping that. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. If you could go a little bit faster, you can interrupt them from cap capping the lock. Oh. Our army be Shit. I'm dying. I'm here. Big, big more. Big I'm gonna hit back to fix that battle cruiser. Yeah, you should. You should. Oh, uh, um, send the marine or something to the point so that we can capture it. I could teleport there. Eh, okay. Big more bees. Uh, big more star ports. You want to be on three, three star ports so that you can continuously make BCs. Okay. And you also want to take your, the gases on your second base. Change will come. The gases on my second base. Yeah. Alright, I'm oh gonna yeah. go attack the enemy. Where is the hybrid? Where is the oh no hybrid this time? Change will come. Essence flows. Oh yeah, they don't have the dusty, dusty hybrids.
Teleport your BC's home. Where are they? Uh, oh. Okay, no. How many BC do you have in reserve? Uh, I think two. Okay, never mind, never mind. Just stay here and cap the lock. Okay. Attempting to capture a celestial lock. That is the fourth lock under our control. Once we activate, okay, the set your BCs here at the uh, or call it the giant BC. Kill them. I don't have any at the end. Oh, where? At the bottom? Yes, there. Perfect. Okay, then, um, then teleport the BC back to us. Now uh, even the, okay, no, belay that order. Turn around. The next enemy attack wave is going for that exact log. Do you see it on the map? Yeah, yeah. Okay, head north and smash it. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. There, use your bato. Shoot, shoot that thing. We must activate all five locks to seal Omar's power reserves. Oh man, they're getting away. Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply. See, that's the oh, thing. Okay. So that guy's on a cooldown, and this is why you build up your own. I still have the helicopter. Should I call him down? No, no, no. You don't have vision. I don't think it's, it's not worth it because if they have air units, the helicopters can't shoot air. Uh, continue uh, battle cruiser production. How many BCs do you have, Grand Total? Uh, five. Okay. How do I fix the battle cruiser? You send SCVs to repair it, lah. Okay. Yeah, the idea for playing the battle cruiser starts. You want to have a massive fleet of battle cruisers that you can just fly over and delete stuff. It's about that critical mm. mass, you see. Yeah. Makes sense. You've got three battle cruisers over at the lock. Uh, teleport the three back and defend. Uh, where is it? You've got three out here. Oh, okay. Teleport them. No, they have to defend the place though. I'm here. Oh, you're here. Okay. Teleport to where? Here, here, here. Gather your BCs all here. The enemies... Uh, get, get your reserves from home. And you'll be fine. Send your reserve BCs! Deploy your... Actually, no, you're, you're fine. But I, I might lose my base. Oh boy. You know, if you had sent in your reserve battle cruisers, maybe you would have killed them before they killed my base. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, no, 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 man. I'm gonna take revenge. I'm gonna smash their base. Yeah, okay. Uh, just, just, just defend that home. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, the other thing you could do is that if you just pull your SCVs over to the. Uh, wounded BC, they will automatically repair. Keep it by that. This is, yeah, this is for co-op only. You cannot do this in one versus one. Our army be in one versus one, you Wait. have to manually repair it. Yeah, just pull your SCVs; it, they will auto repair. Oh. We cannot claim the objective without our allies' presence. Amon's minions are contesting the law. They will soon gain control of it. I will take Is it working? Hey, okay, awesome! Make more BCs. Make more supply depots. More BCs, more supply depots. Alright. Um, okay, teleport what? Just one battle cruiser over here. You want to keep. This is just to cap the point, but you want to keep the rest of your fleet together. Uh, yeah, okay, awesome. Uh, alright, so after this what we're gonna do is that my army is gonna move to... Okay, do you see on the map does this red square moving? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where's it headed? Where's it headed? 
intended towards you. Okay, after this, gather your BC fleet at home and prepare to engage. I'm gonna head home, but I need to walk. Alright. Gather, uh, gather, I would suggest your reserve BCs as well. Prepare to fight! Use, use the cannons! And that works too. Back up. The locks are nearly overloaded. We must activate them now or we will all be destroyed. Yeah, we do. Where? Uh, okay, do you see the map? Two of the locks are red. Yeah. Yeah, that's the enemy's one. We have to recap it. Uh, no, no, go after the enemy attack wave. Okay. Uh, continue making battle cruisers. Having that critical mass is absolutely key. Reserve. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is okay. This is okay. You should be able to win this fight. Um, yeah, here's here's the thing. The the helicopters don't shoot air units. Oh shit. Yeah, so it's mostly the BCs doing the work. You will anyway. Okay, uh, take one of your battle cruisers from home and teleport them here. The home base ones, cause home base ones. Yeah. Okay. Teleport them where? Uh, do you see where my army is? Left. Uh, left yeah, side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them there. I'm... I'm gonna send a worker to the northern one. Okay. Good. Um, take your, take your remaining balcons and head to the northern point. Um, this one actually. Oh, the right side? Yeah. Uh, it's 2 o'clock. I'm sending a worker over. Once your BCs reach there, we can cap that point. <laughs> Remains. Oh, I think I'm gonna be attacked. We must join our ally to claim the objective. Yeah, yeah, but my worker is here. Okay, we're capping that point. This is actually quite close. Do you, do you see the big red bar on the side? Yeah. Yeah, if it maxes out, the enemy wins. Oh, okay. You need to come to the objective at the right. There is, there's a worker there. I'm already there. Teleport your BCs and kill this thing. I'm there. To oh. send, send, it, send it your reserve BCs. There we go. Is my worker still Whoa. alive? Yep. I have a lot. My gosh. This is the power of the Battle Cruiser. Once you reach that critical mass. We are one step closer to regaining yeah. full control of the Celestial Locks. Well done. We, we won. Nice. We you won? Yep. So here's the we win when we capture all five points. The enemy wins if they. The enemy wins if they. Stop us from capturing all five points to a certain time. Uh, yeah, but correct. But you're right. It's by a timer. So as long Ooh. as they hold the points for long enough, they win. They can just capture one point. And, and we lose. If, <laughs> yeah, if we don't, if we don't stop them from capping it for long enough, we lose. Uh, well, oh, I'm level 7. Yeah, you're getting those upgrades. Uh, Alright, so just a brief point about the battle cruisers in uh, what we. in co op is that uh, the longer the longer you play, you realize. You'll, like the next time, we'll try to get the upgrades from the armory in addition to getting the battle cruisers. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna rotate back to 1v1, and I'm gonna show you what they could do in a proper 1v1 context. Uh, let's go to a different map. I'm very tired of the light shade one. Okay, so we're gonna be playing together. Okay. Uh, here. Okay, so here's the plan. In one v one, battle cruisers are used very differently in the early game because battle cruisers are. Let's see how do I do this. Archon. Battle cruisers are used as a harassment unit. Oh. I kid you not. Uh, we're gonna set this to okay. I'm gonna set it to Zerg. I'm gonna set it to Hard, but I'll be here. So here's the plan. I'm gonna be doing most of the back code, the base building. Um, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to get the battle cruisers in one v one and how you use it. Here's the thing. You notice the battle cruiser has a teleport, right? Yep. 
Yeah. So it can be used in one of two ways. You can either once the battle cruiser is done, you teleport it into the enemy base and you start killing stuff. And once the enemy army shows up, you just like fly away. Because you notice every map has like cliffs and stuff. Say that again. Once the enemy shows up, I no, I run away. Yeah, you you just fly away with the battle cruiser. Oh, you do okay. not engage the enemy army. But I'll teleport to their base. You have two options: either you teleport to their base, okay. or or you fly the battle cruiser from your base to theirs, and then you teleport um, where the enemy army shows up. Uh, okay. I'll leave this choice to you. I'll take care of prepping the battle cruiser fleet. Uh, what what this is good for, and I what this is good for is that because the battle cruisers are doing this kind of harassment, it allows you to build up your tank or army. Oh. Remember the big weakness of tank store is that if the enemy attacks you before you're ready, you just die. Yep. Once <sighs> you max out our tank store, and in this case with six or seven battle cruisers, it's very hard for the enemy to kill you. Okay, yep. are we ready? Yep. All right, let's go. Again, in, in this game, we're going for a more back build. Um, oh, at this time, I want you to scout. So, you make one marine, and you, not me, send it to the other side of the map, and try and figure out where the enemy is. Okay, you focus on scouting at the battle cruiser, I'll focus on the macro. Okay. Okay, but first, of course, is we need to build a supply depot. Good luck and have fun. You're gonna need it. I made an SCV, so don't worry about it. Okay... Now, get him. Um. Hmm. By the way, here's 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 an additional point. In most games, you actually want to build your supply depots here on the ramp. Oh. Here's the thing. You were going up against Zerg, right? He acts as a block. It acts. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It works as an actual block. Ah. Uh, I'll get the barracks. Oh, you build the barracks. Do I need a build one? No. No. Okay, once the Brax is done, you get a marine and you send him across. Do you want to try going Reaper? Bad news. Reaper? Yeah. What do you mean? Tell you what, this is a good good time to practice since I'm here. Uh, you're going to be getting a Reaper instead of a marine. Okay. A Reaper first, la, then marines after that. I'll finish up the block block wall with the uh, blacks, but don't worry about it. Satellite dish first. Always satellite dish first. Okay, so from the blacks, you press R and you build a reaper. What's going on? Since we're going to be focusing a little bit more on scouting, Go ahead. one reaper is enough. Then you make a marine immediately after What's that because on? why not? I'm going to be getting you your second base. Not enough minerals. Minerals now. Get them. Okay, what should I be on Nix? Not enough Nothing. minerals. Nothing. Yeah. I'm going to be getting the second base. Okay. Uh once I have okay, money, I'll be buying a factory, complete. but that's a bit a bit later. Okay, so the reaper's out. Okay, so here's the thing about the reaper. You could do a lot of tricks with it. Send him across the map. I want you to just control the Reaper. Make sure he does not die. If the enemy is engaging, just run away. Use the Reaper to scout. Use the Reaper to figure out what is the enemy doing. How many units do they have? There's going to be other things in future like um, tech choices, but that's for later. Not enough minerals. Okay, keep it out of the replays approaching the enemy base. Run, run! Run! Okay. Okay, no, no, no need to run, no need to run. The enemy has disengaged. You, wanna, you ideally want to keep the Reaper in a position where 
you can see the enemy. No, 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 no. Stop the Reaper. Yeah. Send him. Send him to to your enemy's base. Your uh, the natural. Send him here. Keep an eye. You want to know when the enemy is moving out. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you can't go up the ramp, but yeah, just leave him here. At least you know that the enemy is uh, moving out. You saw that he has marines, he, ha uh, he has zerglings, he has... He has roaches. Now, I'm gonna deviate from my original plan. I'm gonna get a tank. Just because he has roaches. Okay. Okay. So this is generally what you do. Uh, the other thing, okay. So here's the thing about scouting. Having this reaper here... Uh, go in and check whether they took the next base. Armed and ready. Uh, no, just send the Reaper to the natural here. Oh, okay. Yeah, just see. Has he taken his next base? The Reaper. Yeah, send the Reaper in. Don't worry nope. about whole base and defense. I'll take care of that. Okay, no. Uh, Alright, so what I want you to do is I want you to go home, take one of the satellite dishes, and scan. Scan the top of the ramp. We want to know what's going on, going on up there. Top of the ramp. Yeah, that's the top of the ramp. Oh! Yeah, they're moving out. They're moving out. Should I run? No, 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 no. Take the Reaper. Okay, this, this is where it requires some, some skill. Take the Reaper and try to figure out where, where's the enemy. I'm, 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 I'll control the Reaper, I'll try to show you what I mean. Yeah, search the map, where are they? Will do. Gotta get another attack, cause you know, we're, we're gonna be under attack. Wouldn't this be nice to know, by the way, in your games? Yeah. When you're getting attacked? Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, if you look at home right now, I'm just throwing up supply depots to build a wall. I do not uh. want to take the risk. Uh, see, here's the thing, the roaches now are firing. Like, they, they have to fire from so much further away, they can't reach the tank at all. Yep. And we're safe. No nice. Alright, Balku's on the way. Double expand. Yamato yeah, Cannon. Minerals now. Get em. You wanna build Starport? Oh, you're, you're building it already. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so the first battle cruiser is gonna be coming out soon-ish. Um, once it's done, you can just ignore the Reaper, which is gonna die anyway. Yeah, he got Hello, killed. Hello, Leon. Thanks for coming to the stream. All right. Sorry, sorry, bro. You said something? No problem. Twitch chat is important too. Twitch chat yeah. the best. Hi, hero. <laughs> Hi, Leo Russia. Thanks for. Coming on, I'm teaching my friend how to play some Terran. The battle cruiser is almost done. It's going to be at the starport. Again, you decide. Do you want to fly him across the map, or do you want to teleport him? Hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow, Leo. Hope that you're having a good day today. Um, I'm learning how to play StarCraft 2 from Red Gunner Guy. Okay, battle cruiser's here. Ooh, nice. So this is also the the baby battle cruiser. Yep. <laughs> the big one is for co-op only. Dude, imagine if they had that in 1v1, it would be completely imbalanced. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, balance reasons. Co -op but is they could just give each race something like a battle cruiser, right? <laughs> oh, the other races have their capital ships, don't worry. Oh. Especially the Protoss. You heard that, Leo? Especially the Protoss, my god. <laughs> Okay, hey, what hello. should I do next? Either you teleport him into the enemy base, or you fly him over and you start shooting. Okay, I'm gonna fly him over. Okay, then fly him over. Oh, I've also I think that running away is much more important, right? Yeah, don't lose the battle cruiser. Your command center it, is a, it is very expensive. Costly. Yes. Way too costly. Way too costly. You can't afford to lose those things. Not enough energy. There is a circle on the floor and <coughs> emitting green stuff ah, going outwards. What's that? That's an acceleration zone. If you go over it, you move faster, but only inside that circle. It's not that important. Oh, okay. They, they've been experimenting with that, like the map makers in StarCraft. It is just not that important on this map. Let's see. Because this map is big. Yeah, kinda. 
Oh, by the way, when you go in, don't forget to use your Yamato, your your Y to blast the sh to blast one of the enemies. It's on the cooldown, okay. so you might as well shoot. Okay. All right. We finish that add-on. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kill, kill stuff. Kill stuff. Kill the building. Kill the workers. Okay, okay. The enemies here. Retreat. You don't have to teleport out. Oh, I did. Oh shit. Yeah, Sorry. You, you don't have to teleport out, but you can. Um, it takes a bit of practice, but what is done at the higher levels is that once the battle cruiser is like on half health or something, then you teleport out. Yes. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. That, that takes a lot of practice and is very risky because it does open the door for the enemy to jump on it. Like I've lost a lot of battle cruisers where like I'm not paying attention. I think I could do it, and then poof, they're dead. Additional supply depots are required. Uh. Oh, the enemy's here. Where? Oh, yeah. And they left. They don't have anything. Okay, now you have three battle cruisers. More shoebox depot minimum add on complete. There's one more at home. Do you want to bring him along? Oh yeah, okay. Where are you? At home. It's at it's at the starport. They're always at the starport. I haven't set the rally point elsewhere. We finished that add on. Nice. Oh, okay. I see it. Additional supply depots are required. Move it. I'm gonna do that same thing again. Oh yes. Now you have three, you can Yamato down buildings. Like you can just one shot, just delete them. Oh nice. Oh yes, those things are powerful. It's I think uh 250 damage per shot. You could wow. kill the vast the vast majority of uh, enemy units in one shot. There are some things like the enemy, like, uh, but remember that co-op game? The enemy had their own capital ships? Yeah, that's gonna take more shots. Oh. Alright. No, 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 just keep, keep, keep flying, keep flying. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, jump, jump. Jump. TP. Teleport out. Okay, and then we repair them. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. In 1v1, you have to manually repair them. You can, but you, you can just like click all of them and tell them to, yeah, just repair them. More battle cruisers are ready. Nice. In the meantime, I'm building up a back army for you. I'm getting you lots of bases. Alright, so now you have a fleet of four battle cruisers, you could just you just do the same thing again. Big job, huh? Okay. Okay, tell you what. Um do this head in the same direction, but attack this base instead. Try to kill that base. Here's the thing, okay. with the battle cruisers, you fly them over, you kill the base, hopefully you kill it fast enough, and then you just teleport out. Ah, uh, okay. <coughs> oh, the teleports uh, ref re refresh quite fast. Kind of fast? I wouldn't say it's very long, but it's not that fast either. Especially if the enemy knows what they're doing. Oh, uh, okay. You can't build there. You can't build on that. SCVs, they're under attack. Command center got better. Kill the base, kill the base! 
to the base? Yeah, just fire all the abatos at the base, kill it. Once it falls, teleport out. Okay, leave, 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 teleport out. Well done. Nice. See, just like that, just like that. You walked in, you killed the base, you didn't lose a single unit. The battle cruisers cost money to repair, yes. But but that's a lot better than losing the battle cruiser. The upgrade is done. Alright, uh hmm. Yeah, I should have more factories than this. Whoa, we are huge. You got quite a fleet, don't you? Alright, tell you what, take take the battle cruisers for one more flyby and then you can grab the the back army I've been building and end the game. But have one more flyby. Isn't this like this is this is one of the more fun things you can do in StarCraft 2. Um Yeah, basically with the battle cruisers at the fleet. You've got uh, more reserves BCs at home by the way. Oh, okay. I've been building BCs continuously for you. Like here's the thing, if you don't lose any of the battle cruisers, the fleet just grows and you can do damage to the enemy with virtually no losses to yourself, you know? Yeah. Well, all right. More gaps with this one. Big job, huh? Max, buddy. All right, no more go kill depleted. them. In fact, once you reach a critical mass, okay. So here's here's a few other points. Uh, in one versus one, I cannot recommend you go 100% battle cruisers because if the enemy just gets the hard counters, like if the enemy just goes purely for their anti-air, let's yeah. say they get air units that counter the battle cruisers. You're in a lot of trouble. So you want some guard buffer, which is why I've been building you tank stores and hellbats. You want a uh, mixture of units. You don't want to be over dependent on one single unit. Even as powerful as the battle cruiser is. Co-op, different story. But here, oh yes, oh yes, you can fly in, just blow buildings up. Command center got better. Teleport out. Wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? Okay, so not, not too bad. What you could have done is once the enemy shows up, you fire all your cannons and then you teleport out. Because ah, the okay. cannons More are also. Damage. Yeah, because the cannons are also a cooldown. No Alright, um, you can gather all of your army and just walk over and kill them. Uh, do I fix my battle cruisers first? You should, yes. The upgrade is done. The minerals okay, the key about battle done. cruisers is that because. Because um, they are repairable, yeah, and you don't lose them, it is a lot cheaper. Like I think the under attack. a lot more economic. Yeah, a lot more economic. Okay, where should we attack from? Yeah. <coughs> oh, they are attacking. Yeah, they finally got it frustrated of your bullshit, and they're gonna try to do something. See, normally this is going to be a big problem because you see these big chunky boys on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of a problem but they don't shoot up. Oh. Fire the cannons! Blow up the smithereens! Chase them down! Yeah, yeah actually no, you can just chase them down. Uh, you've got two more reserve battle cruisers at home by the way. Oh, okay. You've also got a lot of ground army that is now yours to command. Let's do it together, come on. You do the tanks, and then... What else is there? Hellbats. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll control the ground army. Uh, give me a sec. Let me gather the ground army proper. In fact, hey dude, let, let, let's, let's, let's do something more cool. You fly to the side and you go into the main base. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, no, no, let, let's do something a bit uh, a bit more chip, right? You take your yeah. battle cruisers and you fly to the side here and you go into the main base. I'll hit it from the front. Okay. Mineral field depleted. Okay. Have and gone. Yeah, you hit him for. Uh, the aim is to go into the main base. Here's why. If I should just teleport in, right? <laughs> you want to YOLO? You can YOLO. <laughs> but I need to wait for you to get close first. Then I'll teleport in. Alright. <coughs> but you're already so close, you might as well just fly, fly in. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, just, just fly north. Just fly north because there's a dead space here. They'll need to walk all the way back into the main base to, to defend. Oh, they have another base here. Okay, then go and blow that up. Complete. Are you near? Oh yes, I just destroyed the main army. Okay. Yeah, you just fly fly to the main base. I'll go and destroy the. I'm teleporting in. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's a shock factor for the other army. Should be quite. Oh yes. Sad. I have lost multiple games as all three races where the enemy just teleports species and I didn't scout it. Oh man. As all three races, you know, as Terran, as Zerg, and as Protoss. I've lost to this oh, nonsense. Man. Well, the Protoss one was worse, yeah. The Protoss one, I scouted it, and I still lost. What? Oh, yeah, I didn't know how to, how to respond properly. Uh, do you see there's this one spine crawler that's being, being a nuisance? Where? Here, here, here. Can you teleport one battle cruiser over and show him? What's that? Uh, I need time on cooldown though. All of them? Yeah. You've got. <laughs> okay. There's Where one, is he? There's one, there's one brand new battle cruiser at home. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay, the enemy is here. See, it's, it's being a nuisance. It's harassing this tank, which is not shooting because I'm telling it to move around. Well, there's no more gas with this one. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, right, let's finish this. The minerals have up and gone. Yay, reward. And they're out of here. Awesome. Okay, can we take a like a five minute break? Okay, cool. We'll take a five minute. Uh, All right. If you're watching this, welcome to teach the noob. Ray Gunner guy is teaching me StarCraft too. We're gonna take a quick break and be right back. I'm gonna do the same. If you're watching it on my channel or in YouTube in future, do go check out uh, Stefan. His link is on the screen uh, right now, and he's awesome. Uh, but yeah, five minute break. Oh, right.
Okay, I'm back. Let's wait for Gunner and we'll start. Welcome everybody to Chat and Chill. My name is Stefan787. Today we are doing an episode called Teach the Noob. And Red Gunner Guy, my good friend, is going to teach me how to play um, StarCraft 2. Welcome back, Gunner. <laughs> Somebody just said, hello, you lovely degenerates. <laughs> hello. Yep. All right. See, you're having a snack snack. Yep. All right. So hmm, we have to have a bit of time. Okay. One thing I'll do is that we'll go for one 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 v one game. I'm gonna have you against the AI. See if you can beat the medium AI. Okay. If we still have time after that, we can go for one more co-op. If we have time, lah. Depends on how long this game takes. All right. Uh, again, remember what I taught you about, it, it's up to you whether you want to go battle cruisers, but whatever you want to do, please do scout, like just send somebody out there. This is going to be the same map we played as the last game, okay. that's all. Uh. Okay. Uh, do you want me to make the enemy Zerg specifically, or you're okay with it being random? But no, it's fine. Alright, I'm going to send it back to medium. This is going to be easier than the last one, but you're going to be here on your own. When you're ready, we can start. I'm ready. And I'm gonna mute my mic for those watching. On his channel, well, you can head over to my I'll be giving commentary. If not, you can stay at the uh, back seat in the Twitch chat. That's always fun. I'll be watching that side as well. Good luck. Hey, you. Alright, let's see whether he remembers what we're doing as well as it. And where is my zirkling? There he is. There he is. Dem, 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 dem. Alright, so <sighs> Supply Depot, Supply Depot, Supply Depot, Supply Depot, okay very good. You should be building it on the web, but never mind. I wonder what he's gonna do, whether he's gonna go for battle cruisers or whether he's gonna go for other stuff. Okay, he's gonna guess, which is considered very early, but yeah, it's actually a bit too early for a guess, but it doesn't matter. To be perfectly honest, his macro is Needs a lot of work, so stacking up gas is not the worst of ideas. This is a mistake. This is a gigantic mistake. He needs the Vax. Not the Depot. Why? Why? 
Bloody. There's the Rex, okay. okay. I didn't. I didn't want to teach him the. There is a build. There is a build that you go two star port BC and then three star port BC. I didn't want to do that because that. I don't. First of all, I don't think that's good fundamentals to over rely on. It is not good fundamentals. It doesn't really teach you the macro. And furthermore, <coughs> I would rather. I don't want it to be over reliant on one unit, as mentioned prior. It's better to have a mixture of a ground army and your BC fleet. Because the enemy just goes like pure corruptors, you're in a lot of trouble if you have no ground army. Because then they can just fly over and start uh, hitting your, your bases. I switch the seeds? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. This is no better than the first game, and he's making marines. He has not scouted the enemy, let's see what they're doing. I need to tell him to click rewind, because the AI is playing a lot better than him. The AI is already on 2x. He should either be getting <coughs> his... Okay, he's getting his orbital, so just better. But he needs to get his... Oh, does he, is he actually gonna scout? Okay, if he actually scouts and actually sends a marine uh, out here, then it's already a win. He needs to send them a lot further out, but this is the start, it's the start. Did they just scout me? I think they just scouted me. No, they didn't. There's nothing on the map, I've got all vision. Unless it was a scan. Does he have a scan? No, the energy is not enough for a scan. No, Stefan's just seeing things. Having the marine out here is not enough. The marine needs to be here. Oh, I taught him the last game with the Reaper. Okay, fine, factory. If he gets a tank, again, this is why I focused on that tank, because most of the time players just tip over and die because they don't have enough. A tank for Terran is one of those key units that can just save you games. He's not getting a second base for whatever reason. Okay, he's actually scouting. Alright, that's good, that's good. Hey, yeah, speed zone. I wonder what can I, can I, what's his vision? Okay, he's actually controlling the marine. Okay, this is Stefan's vision on the on our screen. You can go to his stream, of course, if you're watching in future. You go to his stream, follow. Okay, okay, he's okay. Good, good, good. He's actually scouting. He's completely neglected everything at home. But I think they're in the same position again. Yep, in the same position. Run, run. Yeah, and they're coming, oh my gosh. Tag, um, tag, tag, bunker. Let's see, let's build a few of these. Yeah, not the we worst should idea. get an upgrade. Um, I don't think they're coming actually. No, they're not. He has misread the situation. Okay. Okay, he's attempting to wall off. Uh, this one... Let's do a tech lab. What are you actually going uh, for? Control 4, Control 5. Let's do more SCVs. Oh, the one movie has made it back home. Wow, he actually came all the way back. Yeah, I was just saying that. Right. Um, now they're moving out, okay. So it turns out that his scout... Lab. Wait, are they... Lab. Yeah, okay, great. Uh-huh. Does he have enough? I don't think he does, because... Uh, he needs more, he needs just a few more units. Just a few more units, defend his advantage he holds. Uh, build. It's six marines to five. It's gonna be three hellions to four. Oh, I don't know how the mess works out now. This is actually exciting. Nope. Build. Will the fourth hellion be out on time? If he's got the high ground advantage, he doesn't move down the ramp. He's got a chance uh -oh. to, he's got a chance to win. Okay, assuming he attacks move. Okay, they're here, they're coming up the ramp. Oh no! Shoot, damn it! How do you take such a bad fight? 
How did he take such a bad fight? I actually don't know. I think I might have just lost again. <coughs> well, uh, okay, now all oh, this is gonna be painful because this is worse than uh, Zucknix. He will, he will stabilize. But no, this is this is really bad. Yeah, I think he just didn't have the marine count. Did I just lose Gunner? I think I did. Yeah, yeah, you kinda did. Um, at least you scouted them, which was a, a good thing. You you saw this attack coming, and that's yeah. the first step to be able to hold it off. You know what's the one thing that you should have had? What? A tank. Oh. Oh, I haven't attached tech lab to my yeah. factory yet. The, the other mistake you made was that you stopped making marines. Um, oh, yes. There was a period in time that you didn't make the marines. I should just have kept making them. Yeah, so here's the thing. Either you get to attack as quickly as possible, or you make enough marines to buffer, or you saw they were coming, you could have built the bunker. You forgot about the bunker, oh. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that happens. Okay, well, that was a good attempt. No, um, it was not. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you credit. You At least you bothered to scout. You saw the enemy was coming. Thank you. Now, I, I can, I'm, I'm finding as much silver lining as there is coming out of your... <laughs> out of your yeah. You can insert the word there. Uh, again, if you had, you could have taken up the BC by there. And one battlecruiser... Would have, would have been enough. Would have been more than enough. Because yeah. the the Hellions, the buggies as you call them, don't shoot ground. Oh. <coughs> don't shoot air, you mean? <coughs> yeah, don't shoot air. The flamethrower doesn't hit the battle oh. cruiser. The marines, the, the battle cruiser has enough HP to take out the marines. Yeah. Okay, so it's now 11.30. I think we could do one more co-op game. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, um, this is going to be very difficult because I'm going to be taking a level 1 commander. <laughs> why? Okay, here's why. Um, Trying things out? Yes and no, yes and no. Uh, okay, so here's the thing about co-op. Once you reach max level, which is 15, you have the option to reset them back to level 1 with additional abilities. Oh. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. For uh, Raider's case, um, if you reach level 15 and you choose to do something called Prestige, he resets to level 1, but now you're Biological combat units gain 100% life increase. Oh. But you have no mules. You know the thing that you buy middle swap that you don't use anyway? Yep. Yeah, you don't have them. So it's going to be a trade off. Uh, all of the different commanders have this. And this is honestly why my previous guy was only level 14. So it's time to start the prestige process for one of my Protoss commanders. I've been thinking about this for a while. Uh, let's see. Let me read this. Blah 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 uh, Again, for later, for one of Vader's other uh, prestigious. Mm. Wait, do you still get a level up from level yeah, one? Yeah, then? I get to level him up accordingly. I have to level him up accordingly. So after you fifteen, you go back to one, and then you start climbing up to fifteen again. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. It's a very clever idea on the part of the StarCraft Two team because it keeps people playing co-op for longer. Yeah, man. With the trade-off that, again, you get additional abilities, there's one commander that you get a brand new unit. Hmm. A brand new unit. It's For those watching on my side, it's Artanis and it's the Unbound Fanatic. But no, Ooh. I'm going to do Carex instead. It's going to be a Cannon Rush build. <coughs> I got a Cannon Rush definitely one of these days, but that's beside the point. Okay, the difficulty is still going to be hard. Are you going BCs? Uh, yep, let's do that. Uh, <coughs> let's go. <coughs> Since you now have a little bit more experience, both in StarCraft 2, um, 
tavern as well as co-op. Yep. Let's see if we get the same map. Have you played this one? What was this about? Security, terminal, transport, Shit. die, protect, aurora, <laughs> as... Hmm. Okay, there's going to be a giant robot that's going to drive around the map and stop at these gas stations. We have to make sure it reaches the end. The enemy's going to try to stop her. Ah, uh, okay. Minerals now. Get them. Not enough minerals. This purifier. All right, if you you can decide what you want to go for, whether it's going to be bio or battle cruisers. But it was shut down after complications with a Tal Darim prisoner. His AI has infected many of our systems. And I will need your assistance to purge them. Construct additional pylons. How I forgot the things. You know something I realized? The battle cruisers are kind of like secrets in Hearthstone. They are ungodly annoying, but they can be very effective. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm about to kill the battle cruiser. Teleport out. <laughs> Stupid ice block. The ice block is one of the the most fun to play. <laughs> I see your, you. You can. I see you can be. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You go first. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to seek out. Like the like, like if you have like low health and then there's only one secret left. You and then when you kill a minion, doesn't die. And just do like two other things, and you you know that the guy has ice block. Yeah, but you can't do anything about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you could just get the weakest minion to like attack and then you just wait and hope that he doesn't have a goddamn Mido Jackson in reserve. Yeah, yeah. Ice Block and Jackson. Oh my gosh, I love that. Love that combination so much. Yep, I knew it, you're one of those people. She 4, she 5. So again, same thing with the Battle Cruiser here, which is that with the teleport, they are... And you know, again, it comes down to your control. You could get a lot of damage done for very little losses on your side. Uh, do I have enough minerals? Nah, I could back up a bit more. Location is secure. Right. Unfortunately, the Tal Darim was quite thorough. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to build your forces a lot faster because, again, me being level one, I can't like carry as hard as I can. Okay. More Marines. More Marines, more everything. I'm poor right now. <laughs> The satellite dish would have helped. You have a lot of gas which you're not using, so either you build your way to battle cruisers or you get add-ons. Mm, I'm gonna build my way to battle cruisers. I must proceed to the next security terminal soon. Make your preparations. All right, we're on escort detail. Upgrade complete. Oh. Moving forward. Hey, this is just a transport. It has no shield Can you do them? Me from these strikes. I'm getting shot. Oh, I'm coming. There are only two of them. Our allies are being attacked. Oh gosh, I lost. Oh yeah, there are a couple more. Coming, coming, coming. Wait, I should not go with one marine, right? No. That's stupid. Should wait for a few more. Analyzing corrupted security data. Yeah, kidding. Stand by. Okay. Oh. The Tal Darim still thinks he can destroy me. Can you prove him wrong? Unacceptable warp location. Uh, you might need to call it. Where? <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's good. 
Now that's I did here to clear out your deck space. Are you going for battle cruisers or battle cruisers? <coughs> Help your friends. Yeah, okay. I mean no. You can't warp there. Our allies are being attacked. Restoration efforts have reached the halfway point. The enemy has raised a suppression tower. Their beams will interfere with my work unless you destroy them. Fusion core. I need yep. a fusion core. Systems were halted by Okay, I'm gonna do a boost. If you have things to build, build it now. Three, two, one, now. Chrono boost activated. Our structure should research and create units much more quickly now. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's good. The deal is gonna stop hot. You can't warp this. My work here is nearly oh, finished. Shit. If you can believe it. Yes, care to assist? <laughs> yep. Where? Okay, coming. Okay, look. Do you need a battle cruiser? Uh, actually, not, not right now. But do, do send your BCs cl close by. Oh, movies are good. Okay, there's a base here that you should take. This is your this is your expo. Our oh. Tower attacks have temporarily disabled my systems. Hey, here? What? No, 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 down here, down here, like, look at the mini map, you can actually see, like, the minerals. Oh, okay. Yeah, the transport take a lot of damage. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. Uh, you need more supply depots, your supply block. Oh, okay. Give me one moment. You, we don't have a moment, the transport's at half health, and the four more stop Oh, points. shit. Sorry. Yeah, look, so here's the thing, if you're gonna go BCs, it makes more sense to go BCs right away. Yeah, yeah, tech... Okay, here's the thing, she'll regain some health at each checkpoint, but it's honestly not a lot. Okay. Uh, you need to make more, more battle cruisers ASAP. You f oh, you don't have the money yet. You didn't get your satellite dish. Uh, okay. Uh, Uh, prepare to deploy your BC suit because I have a bad. Where? I uh, have both. Uh, I both the helicopters and the. Uh, the I'll get your satellite dish, damn it. Got it. Oh, okay. The transport is nearly ready. Relocating to the third terminal soon. So here again, here's the thing, without that second base, it's gonna be very hard for you to afford PC production. Advancing toward the next terminal. Oh. The enemy has mobilized. We should send the BCs in here. You need to break this position. Where? Yeah! Where the transport is going. Send them in. Call it the airstrikes. I don't see them. They're here! Base is under attack. Though the Taldarim has been relentless. Yeah, go up the web, go up the web, follow her. This data core. If you have time, please rescue the personalities within it. Shoot! I still have my giant battle cruiser, shall I use it? <coughs> Not yet. Yes, I did it. 
Do you have more battle cruisers building at Hobo something? Yeah. Uh, but they're breaking really slowly. That's what they do. Hey, yeah, help me kill this. Ah, uh, never mind, I'll do it myself. Yeah, just send it to BC to wreck stuff because you know it's gonna disappear. Yeah. Send it to the reserves now. Send them here. The enemy's right yeah. here. Yeah, damn it. Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, just keep them here because the enemy. Yep, the enemy's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see them on the map. Yeah. Yeah, my my defenses are still building. The Taldarim is brutal, but not clever. He has not discovered this data core yet, but we only have a little time remaining. Okay. Uh. I am unable <laughs> to progress. Due Make to more battle cruisers. And hit north. You need to destroy the tower. I could, I could defend the, the transport. Hit north and destroy the tower. Yeah, hit north and destroy the tower. Like, you can kind of ignore these guys. Kay. Once my, once my defenses are ready, they should not be able to penetrate. Where's the tower? Oh, oh it's a passion tower. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh my gosh, I'm so weak against them. I died. Forces are getting torn. The enemy is targeting our data core. Okay. You must hurry. Systems work halted. Uh, do you have reserve BCs? You're only just building them? No. Yeah. You know, you've got two different um, star pods. You can build one at each, right? Rather than building six at one. I thought I, I thought I grouped them together. Shift six. Shift six. <laughs> Do you have the big battle cruiser? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, the heli. Only have the heli ones. Call it the helicopters at least. Where? Where do you think? Look at the look at your helicopters. What do you need to shoot? My transport is nearly in ruins. Then you have to go for the suppression tower. Just try to kill what you can on the ground. A move, A move. Nope. Yeah, the the towers are pretty tough. Well, this has not been working. I think we have time for one more game. And I'll give you a choice. Do you want to try this mission again? I'll take a more powerful commander. Or yeah. we can go to a map like the trade one where this commander suits better. Which one do you want? Let's do the train. Alright, the train. Yeah, here's the thing. Because this one is a problem for me because my commander is more focused on these kind of static defenses. Um, for maps like the train, it's going to be easier. Because you need to then break through the enemy positions, you know? Yep. Okay, again, if you're doing the battle cruiser build, you can skip marines, get the factory, get the starport ASAP. Okay. Alright, let me load the train. Don't worry, this one should be a lot easier. But then again, the train one... Okay, so here's the thing. I can set up these strong defensive positions that you can fight at, but if the train is able to slip by, you then need to chase it down with the battle cruisers. Okay. Um, in this case, you're also going to be the one to primarily go after the bonus objective. What's the bonus objective? Uh, there's going to be another, there's going to be a third train down south. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. You remember, there are two tracks, right? Yeah. Those are the key, those are the critical trades. There's an optional trade that's further south. God, I can't get that because static defenses can't chase Anon's targets. Using old train yep. system to ship some questionable Mobius cargo. I've been hired to destroy those trains, but I don't have the personnel to do it. I'm thinking maybe you Okay, Supply Depot. You um, get your gas early. You want to get the factory as early as you can. Again, the other thing for Battle Cruiser build is that um, you do want to take your expansion because that allows you to get uh, 
I was about to say. You want to get the expansion because you, you want the extra gas. Okay, good, good, Vax. This is good. Make more SCVs. Once you have the money, now. <coughs> The, the idea of playing a quote unquote good StarCraft 2 game is that you want to have as little money as possible, as high income as possible, but as little money in the bank as possible until you yep. max out. Yep. Go ahead. Ah, and even for me, that's always a struggle because there are lots of games that, even at my level, I'm still, I still have like a thousand middles in the bank, 1,005, 1,000 gas. That's that, too much, right? Yeah, it's way too much. For professional players, they never have more than 500 until they max out oh I see alright factory 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 do you have money for factory? yeah you do factory uh, let's see factory factory uh, again, if you're going bio, I will tell you to do something slightly different, but you're not, so... Okay, forge is about to be done. Do I need gas at all? Yeah, I should grab some gas. In fact, there are a lot of cool things you can do for two versus for uh, this kind of co-op. For example, later this is advanced tactics. You can take one of my gases and just long distance mine. Okay, stop on, stop on, go, 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 go. Okay, very good, very good. Um, do you have a lot of money left over? Okay, no, never mind. Uh, use the mules. Trust me, the mules give you so much more money. I have detected an incoming enemy attack. They are moving swiftly. I have no defense, is it? Don't worry. Okay. I can handle this. Okay. The enemy is served. Prepare yourself. See? No problem. Static defenses. First train's departing. Your objective is to destroy. All right. Uh, how's how's the BC production? Attempting to escape. Uh, just build a core. Okay. It should be building in a while. Do you have the airstrike and stuff, by the way? Yep, I do. Do you need we them? Might, we might need it. Uh, do you see? Do you see the train on the map? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm Call it down. Uh, not yet. Once you have vision, then yes. I don't know if I can get my static defenses up in time. Okay. 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 Ready? Call it down. Call it down. An enemy force is en route to our position. Yeah, you're gonna have to chase the train. My defenses will finish as it's there, but you need to yeah you need to chase it down. After that, you need to teleport your battle cruiser home to defend. But okay. After, okay. Okay. Do you see the enemy attack wave on the map? Yeah. Okay, I, want, I don't have teleport. Shit. I don't have teleport. For your big one, you don't have teleport. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna have to oh, fly shit. then. Uh. Yeah, this works too. Hey, don't forget to actually make the BCs, by the way. Yeah. Okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine. We're, we're okay. Your supply blocked. Yeah, give me a moment. I'll just fly my heli. Okay, yes. Supply depots. Take your next base. It's over here. Incoming train. Do whatever it takes. I see. To it. Shit. 
I should have one battle cruiser by that time. Just yeah, okay. Uh, okay, build another starport. It makes more sense, especially for battle cruisers, to have two building at the same time rather than to queue up three. Okay, build. Uh, I think you can also have more SCVs mining off your base. Yeah, yeah. Call down a couple more mules if you need the money. Okay. Likewise, I'm gonna need help with this trade because my static defenses may not be fully up in time. You can't warp there. Uh, subsequent trades are gonna be easier. Uh, I have one battle cruiser. Get him. Your supply blocked. Yeah, I have one battle cruiser. Do you need it? Yes. Where's my battle cruiser? You died? No, it's still there. Oh. Chrono boost online. Our structure should now operate at a greater efficiency. Yeah, you're gonna need to set in your other BC. Once it's once okay. it's done. No, just A move, A move the battle cruiser. Oh boy. Do you have the helicopters? Uh, no. Okay, just focus on it, focus on it. Uh, ignore the enemies. The enemies should go after the defenses, which are at home. Please kill the train. Send it, teleport in the other battle cruiser. Oh, wait, no, you might not have it. Do you have anything to throw at the train? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Focus down the train. Focus down the train. Don't shoot the train. A little bit more. So low. Okay, you got the train. Oh, that was close. That was damn close. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, build more battle cruisers. <sighs> Not enough minerals. Uh, there's another trade, by the way. Okay, there are defenses here this time, so that it shouldn't be that bad. Bastards have no Trains on that bottom track are faster than the others. You can try and stop them, but you gotta be quick. Uh, do you have any battle cruisers? You're not uh, building no. from your other starport. What? You have two starports, you're only using one. One of them is sitting idle, yeah, like that. Uh, we might need to let one. I don't know if we can get this trade, like, it's half. It's at half health. My cannons are doing whatever damage they I can. I have the big battle cruiser. Like, should I put it the big battle cruiser? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if... No, send in your card battle cruiser, intercept it here. It's a, it's a I can't, I can't, it's too far away, it's too far away. Teleport your small battle cruiser. There is, there's, there's teleport. We should move to intercept. There's no teleport? You have I two battle cruisers so. at home. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I got it. Send all three in. Now. Where? On the train. Yeah, see how little health it had? You yeah. really wanted to give up that train? I mean, no. You can't warp there. Come on, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I think I should have just used the the uh, the mega battle cruiser. No, sh uh, shoot, shoot the last carriage, shoot the last carriage. Yeah, just, just. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, teleport. Can you teleport out? No, no teleport. I teleported in. Oh my gosh, I wasted my battle cruisers. Yeah. <laughs> it's not wasted. You should have built more. No, I can. I should just use the mega the mega battle cruiser. Use the battle, 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 the battle, battle cruiser on the next train. Okay. Big uh, battle, battle cruisers. Battle cruisers, okay. Okay, I, uh. Gonna take my next base. I mean, no. You can't warp it. Not close. Okay, pick one train. I think we're gonna have to let one train go. Uh, focus on the northern train, I guess? 
Oh, I'm gonna give up the southern position. I can't. I don't think I can hold it. If you have the big battle, could have sent it in on the northern train. Okay. Calling down the Hyperion. Yeah, just just blow it up. <coughs> okay, forget about the southern. Nice work, commanders. Uh, okay, okay, this is fine. Big ball battle cruisers. Stay frosty. <laughs> It's too bad that the big battle cruiser has no teleport. Mm, yeah, very oddly. Now forget it, forget it. We, 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 we can't hold that trade. This is actually a bigger problem right now. Shit, they bought their own siege units. Commanders, don't want to miss it, do you? They got one past us. Oh, wait, we can allow three trades to escape. Okay, got okay, it's not too bad. To <coughs> uh, take your other base, big more. How much money do you have? Big more battle cruisers. More BCs now. Start production. Give the order. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, where, Just where should I uh, put my second base? Forget the second base, there's another trade. Oh, okay. No, 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 build one BC from each starport. You're making two BCs out of one starport, and your supply blocked. Yeah, I don't have enough first spin. No, your supply blocked. You already placed the order, but because you didn't, you don't have the supply depots. Make four supply depots right now. Um, oh, we might have to give up this trade as well. I have the helicopters and I have four battle cruisers. No. If you give up your four battle cruisers right now, uh if you give up your four battle cruisers right now, you won't be able to build up the critical mass. Okay, just oh. just defend, just defend. Give up the trade. <coughs> uh, our northern position is relatively secure, like I've got a lot of my static defenses here. It's gonna take them a while to chew through it. It appears the enemy is advancing. Prepare to meet them You're still combat. supply blocked. Dude, the big chunky boy, they're attacking your base. Ignore the beta. Repair, re re repair, repair. Oh boy, they blew it up. You need to build a new one. Yeah. Okay, once the path is clear, I can start building static defenses at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Half your bell cruisers are not firing. Yeah, you need to rebuild the starport, you need to rebuild your main base. Uh, okay, send your bell cruisers to the south to defend. The southern, the northern one has a chance of holding on its own because I've got a lot of defenses in place. The southern one I do not because they were all destroyed. I mean, no. Help your friend. You can't Client's willing to pay extra if you take out the trains on the bottom track. You take them out, Amon's mad. Rebuild your starports. You need your starports. Do you have gas? You have gas for one BC, I think. Oh shit, the enemy's right here too. Base is under attack. Our allies are being attacked. Unacceptable warp location. Our Unacceptable are warp attacked. location. I have the mega better cruiser. Hold it in. Oh man, the problem is that the northern trade is it's on half health. Oh no, it's on more than half health, crap. Okay, kill this one and then rotate to kill the northern trade. 
Okay. This is you didn't buy a battle from your fusion core, I see. Okay, teleport north and try and get the northern trade. Because if we lose the northern trade, we auto lose. Oh man, it's still got so much health. Looks like they've got another shipment leaving the station. Let's cause some delays. Pylon's under attack. Yeah, there's not enough cannons, not enough everything. The enemy's tearing through my forces. No. No, nope, we lost the trade. No. Yeah. Well, I'm not used to jobs going south like this. Pack it up, commanders. Show's over. Well, you can see that the battle cruiser is not as all powerful. Yeah, it isn't. I'm so sad right now. There are dark sides. <laughs> it's okay, you should motivate us more. I hope so. Oh. Anyways, thanks for the lesson today. No problem. Gotta go, gotta...